technician on his instrument. Great energy and grooves and feels that he injects into the band, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all that. He's a very charismatic performer, you know, audiences are drawn to him. Yeah. His solos take you on a, on a journey as well. You know, there's... to me to your sax sound at the beginning is the, the quality of the sound, the timbre of it, but also the intonation. I mean. I mean, it occurs to me because the, the roots of the band are very early, which the band are in a kind of klezmer yeah. crossover fusion yeah. thing, and and klezmer melody is very vocal in quality, it mm. seems to me, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> uh, also has that uh, Eastern European kind of melismatic quality, that very kind of small steps, gradual changes, mm. and that leads, to my mind, to some of the kind of melodic writing that you're doing. <laughs> akin to composing, I mean real composing, you know, the lines are so strong, you could, uh, you could pluck them out and put them in, into, the, into the piece. <laughs> think that he, I mean, his time is fantastic so I can kind of get off on that but he's also incredibly supportive as a player the other thing he's got which uh, is the kind of holy grail for the jazz musician is he's got a voice which is very distinctive and um, yeah. when you hear a bit of Phil's playing it can only be Phil mm. that's quite a trick to pull off yeah. on bass I think Absolutely. And um, uh, it's one of the things that makes the live experience very rich for us all.
I've always enjoyed mixing ethnic percussion and using some different sound colours. Uh, and in, in a small band situation, you can do that, those sounds cut through. Uh, and it's one of the things that gives our material a slightly different edge. So. Absolutely. The excitement, one of, one of the key elements that made the project so exciting is because it's completely original music um, owned by everyone in the band in terms of the way it, it, it develops and, and is arranged eventually. One of the things I really enjoy is that, is that audiences who aren't necessarily jazz aficionados or even know what, what jazz music is but, yes. but people from all different ages and all different sectors are, are drawn to our music and, and have a very kind of positive reaction um, and that's that's great that feeds into our performance as well. I definitely feel that the live work is uh, is a collaboration between us and the audience. It's, yeah. We couldn't do it without them, no. and uh, they couldn't do it without us. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard material, and uh, and we get stuck in. Yeah. And there's a kind of commitment and uh, focus in the band yeah. playing, which I think is very attractive to audiences. Yeah. As, as good as the press has been for the recordings, I mean, reviewers who've seen us live have always said, you know, that the live experience is, is the best part of the band. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting out Me on the too. road again and, and playing our new material yeah. as well. We've got a lot of, lot of new songs. A new generation audience out there who've never heard or seen us. That's for sure, yeah. <laughs>